Who versus that versus which? By Jeffrey C. Now, first of all, let's talk about the words. The words who, that, and which are all relative pronouns and are usually part of an essential clause, a relative clause that limits a general noun. A sentence with a relative pronoun limits the relative clause, which functions as an adjective. It describes who did what, which one, that many, etc. Who. Who always refers to people in a sentence. So, for example, Emma was the one who led the team into the arena. He was the one who started the fire. That. That, along with which, refers to groups, things, and sometimes people. For example, the man that bought the sofa returned in the afternoon to pick it up. So here's the that in this sentence. Jane was on the team that won second place. Which. Which also refers to groups of things and sometimes people. So for example, the book which was released yesterday became widely popular. The product claiming all natural ingredients which appeared in the newspaper is on sale. Note, if this, that, these, or those has already introduced an essential clause, you can use which to introduce the next clause, whether it is essential or non-essential. For example, that is the decision which you must live for with the rest of your life. Those ideas, which we have discussed thoroughly enough, do not need to be addressed again. Sometimes you can make your sentence more effective by leaving out which. So for example, that is the decision which you must live for with the rest of your life. So a better example would be, that is a decision you must live with the rest of your life. This video is brought to you by Cole Academy and GrammarBook.com. Thank you.